Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Plan Commission meeting, or Skokie Plan Commission meeting for August 2nd. Uh, first order of business, first order of business is to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Commissioner Lexpati, second by Commissioner Berman. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, minutes have been approved, thank you. Uh, first case tonight, or the only case tonight, is case 2018-21P. Site plan approval at 9300, 9310 through 9440 Kenton <coughs> Avenue. Trustees of school, uh, <coughs> trustees of schools Township 41, North Range 13 on behalf of School District 68, request a site plan approval. And is the petitioner here? Yes. Please come up. To the podium, please, and speak into the microphone. Just give us your name and, and an address. Uh, my name is Ernie Nelson. I'm the director of operations for Skokie School District 68, um, 9440 Kenton Avenue. Uh, in Skokie. In Skokie. Would you raise your hand, please? Yes. Do you affirm that the testimony you give tonight is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you? Yes. Okay. And, Counselor, is the notice in order? The notice is proper and correct. Good. Thank you very much. Do you want to give us an overview of uh, your request for this? I believe you, you have a sign that that needs approval. Yes, um, what the school district is looking to put a sign, an LED sign, um, at the corner of Kenton and Gross Point Road, um, basically across. The, it's uh, between um, Kenton and our transportation uh, parking lot, uh, kind of kitty corner from the Culvers there. Um, and that, that, that the proposal is for that sign, an LED sign. That, so that, that, that's an area just north of Gross Point. Is that right? It's, it's actually on Gross Point Road. On, it's going to be on Gross Point? Yes. It oh, also, yeah, that's it, there, right. There's, right. The, there's a triangle. Yes, yes. And yes. it's right there. Right, OK, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm thinking of something else. OK, thank you. So that, that picture, yes, that picture does have culvers, I believe. Yeah. One being the one number one being the area we hope to put in, put the sign, install the sign. Okay. Do you have an image of the sign or the proposed sign? Yes. <laughs> oh, there you go. And, and again, what's the dimensions of the? I can't read the. Uh, the actual dimensions of the the the, 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 the the actual dimensions of the whole entire sign, or just the LED portion? The LED portion. For the me. LED portion would be four feet <coughs> by eight feet, four feet tall by eight feet wide. Okay. Is that two sided? It would. It will be yes. Hmm. That's really pretty bright. Eight four by eight. <laughs> well, uh, I have one question. Yes. Yes. Um, all the other signs that I read in the packet, they are all remaining as they as they have been. Yes. The, uh, the stone monument sign in front of the school, the different signs around for the um, headquarters building, all those signs will remain. Absolutely. No, we we plan on not removing any signage. Yes. So. What's the, what's the current orientation of the sign that's there now? Or what's the orienta what's, what's the orientation of this sign? Is it going to be north, south, east, west? It, it's 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 going to be on the no no the sign itself will it be it, it'll be east and west right on the corner there it'll be okay. But yes. And maybe this is more for staff, or I just misread it. Did it say that even though it's LED, they're not allowed to change the message? Did I read that you can't change the sign? That's, that's, sign that's, right. that's correct. The, what? the uh, sign ordinance is uh, once a day. So you could change it at noon, you could change it in the morning, you could change it whenever, but it's only once every 24 hours. Now, just to say, uh, there has been an amendment to that that went to the board, but the ordinance hasn't been finalized yet. And it would allow the change every 20 seconds. 
It, it, the, my only suggestion is, and I'm not going to go through it now, but I think it says they cannot change it. Can we, it, it, can you modify it so it says that they can change it within the guidelines of uh, the ordinance? Or future ordinance? Sure. No, well, right now Jeff's saying it's, it's not written correctly. Yeah. It's, Jeff is finding something. Yeah, Pete right. just said that they're revising the ordinance, so. Yes. I would say, I would put it in language. Future. Right, current or future ordinance yes. changes. yeah. Otherwise, it's it's great with the flag, but that's what you're stuck with. <laughs> so let me let me ask you something, Pete. So sure. let's say they have a sign like that, and let's say they have, let's say temperature alerts. <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, <laughs> under the, under the current ordinance, you cannot do that. Um, and then we had some discussions. We have a sign committee that's been looking at this. And I guess the question is, do people still use that? And, uh, and is there reasonableness to it? So maybe there will be some time and temperature, but for the most part, there's more valuable things to put on a changeable copy sign than that. Okay. Flavor of the day, for example. That could be, <laughs> yes. That's right. In a little while, every 20 seconds. <laughs> a, two, a two for one, a super dog, right? Flavor of the day for color. <laughs> On the original um, uh, overview, uh, the first uh, slide you had, there are four dots around the main school building. What are those? Are those existing signage? That's the current signage, yes. And those don't have any electrical or aren't lit up or anything like that. They're just they're standalone. Not, they're directional. Again, acknowledgement. You won't change it more than once a day. <laughs> and will it be on tw 24 hours? This, the, 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 this, this sign, yes. Okay. That's the plan. Okay. And obviously this, there'll be landscaping around that and everything like that, too. Okay. So one more minor question. Yeah. The uh, stone on the corner that identifies sharp corners, that will remain, this does not affect sharp, stone. Sharp corners is actually no longer School District 68's property. No, no, I meant the, at the corner, just to the north of this sign, there's a large rock. In, I don't know about that rock. I, I, I know about the rock, but I didn't know the significance of the rock. The rock has a, has a plaque on it yeah. that identifies the former community of sharp corners. Okay. It's no, kind of a landmark. Nobody's intending on moving the rock. This Our, sign does not affect the rock nor any other sign. Not at all. Okay. Thanks. Very good. Any other questions of the petitioner? Okay. I, I, do you have any more to, to offer or to, to add to your? I, I, don't, I have okay. nothing. Okay. If you'll sit down now, I'll, I'll have the staff uh, present this report. Thank you. Carrie Haberstitch will present the staff case. All right, thank you. So um, we are here tonight because um, of an improvement to a, a lot that is greater than one acre in size. Actually, this whole campus is a grand total of over 18 acres. Uh, so uh, even though this is a sign request, um, it's an improvement to the site. So that's why we are here this evening. Um, and um, just a few uh, staff comments. Um, the uh, forestry department um, division requests that uh, tree protection fencing be placed around trees when the sign does get installed to protect the root system so they can live a long life. Um, the, we will confirm, ensure that the sign is located outside the, outside the site distance triangle uh, to make sure there's visibility for the traveling public. And um, this is the first formal uh, Village of Skokie review um, uh, since the Illinois State Supreme Court uh, decision requiring school districts to meet municipal zoning regulations. Um, so the, um, so at, we uh, initially the request was just for the admin uh, property, uh, but uh, we are including the old Orchard Junior High School as like a, an entire campus. Uh, so to minimize the need to return in the future for a few, to, for sign improvements, um, that we could do that via modified review. Um, so should any of the existing like directional signs be damaged or replaced in the future, they would need to be brought into compliance with the, the village code at that time. Um, and uh, any improvements um, would be um, reviewed by the Appearance Commission for aesthetics and then onto the village board for what would likely be a modified review process now that we're grouping the whole campus together. 
Um, and I um, just want to uh, almost wrap up by saying uh, I'd like to have the uh, report accepted into the record as written. Okay, accepted. Okay. <laughs> Got that and part. just to note, I, I didn't find any condition about the sign change. So it's it's in the sign code. So mm -hmm. when the sign code's amended, then this site plan approval, it's really only for, as Carrie said, for mm -hmm. site plan approval to locate the sign. So we're not regulating how the often it changes in this ordinance. So once I, the code is updated, then they'll just follow follow through with the, yeah. with the letter of law. Okay, good. Uh, any questions with staff? Actually, just real quick, yes. um, maybe it was the petitioner submittal that was talking about, you know, changing um, in the first paragraph, so they will not have it flash, which flashing for us is anything changing once every 24 hours currently and likely tw every 20 seconds in the well, near future. flashing could be like just a change of brightness, too. Well, flash could be a change in brightness, change in color, movement, yeah. um, that it would, it would have to be a static appear. And but that, that too is also covered under the sign code. Yes, it so would all be under the sign code. That. So yeah. Uh, yeah, we would expect that the uh, the changeable copy well, I, portion would. Um, I'm not an attorney, but that, you know, I, that we're approving something that isn't right. It's you know the law <coughs> of it is should be modified to say that it'll be in compliance. That, that the petitioner agrees to be in <laughs> compliance with the ordinance, and not that they're agreeing not to change the sign, which is what it, I believe it currently says. Well, we're not talking. We're not deciding tonight on the actual. Sign. I mean, we're just talking about the the, 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 the structure itself. Yeah, we're not talking about the functionality of the sign. Yeah, but we're not talking about the trees or something too. But we're asking if they comply with certain number. Well, that's part of the site plan approval. So I, I don't understand why it would be so hard to just stick that sentence in you know, or modify that sentence. It, because it, it, it's not needed. It won't be needed. I like this motion. I'll second it. So, uh, <laughs> it doesn't hurt. I mean, me. <laughs> I'll even or I can make a recommendation, if you, <laughs> if you move it as amendment, I'll, I'll second it. We'll I think it's redundant because once the sign code is you know in place, then you know all I ask is a member is that be humored because I think it's wrong and I'm going to be approving something that's not. Okay, I just think it's redundant, but that's me. <laughs> Yeah. At this point, we are approving the, only the structure. Yeah, the structure. Are, are and, and the location. And location. The location. Right. Yeah. The signage. That was already. The sign and everything comes to appearance. Yes. They already appear, approved the appearance. <laughs> so we know that it, it, the sign meets all requirements. Otherwise, we would have had to ask you for relief from the sign code requirements, which then you would have had to make a recommendation and the village board would make the final decision on. But in this case, the sign meets all requirements. I believe there might have been some modifications to the sign to do that. But uh, aesthetically and shape and location, everything meets requirements. But we could put in a condition. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's whoever makes the motion, whoever's, you know. Yeah. Do you want me to make the st read the staff recommendation and I'll try and fold something in or? No, well, let's, or see, just, let's no. see what the commissioners offer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, any further questions of, of the staff? Thank you, Carrie. All right, thank you. Uh, would you come back up, sir? <laughs> so have you, have you had a chance to look at the staff report and, and all the recommendations? And it, it yes. To, and is everything satisfactory to you? Absolutely. Okay, good. And, and do you have the, anything further to add or any other questions? Aside from the fact that the village has been pleasant to work with, uh, we're okay. glad we asked before we broke ground. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I, I don't see. Just a way to, to solve Jeff's concern. Well, I, wait, 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 wait. I don't see anyone in the audience, so there won't be any anybody coming up for questioning. So, uh, you, um, we're done. Thank you, sir. You can you can sit down and we'll okay. just. Um, I, I'm open for a motion. Well, if in the first sentence, well, let me. Because I, well, if I can make a suggestion, if in the first sentence where it says Skokie, Skokie School District 68 agrees to comply with the village code, mm -hmm. and then it says do not change the message, so why don't we just say comply with the village code regarding electronic signs? Uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm not no. sure where you're at. On page two of eight. Okay, but that's not the recommendation. 
That's, was, a, that's just the statement of what the petitioners were well, stating. Well, the recommendation talks about shall develop in substantial conformance with the submission. So I, I, I agree that we have to be consistent. We, all we want to do is say that the signs that they're going to follow village code now and whenever that code might change in the future. So we don't even have to say all those words by just saying we'll follow village code regarding electronic signs. Doesn't matter where we stick it in. Okay. 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 We'll put it on. Good. I'll make that motion that we accept the report as presented, except for the one modification as suggested by Mr. Berman. And <laughs> I will second that motion. Okay. Compliance. Okay. Uh, I'll call for the vote on this motion. Commissioner Mitchell is absent. Commissioner Quinn is absent. Commissioner Scott Berman. Aye. Commissioner Villages is absent. Commissioner Paradise. Aye. Commissioner Lex Potty. Aye. Commissioner Jeff Berman. Aye. Commissioner Matei. Aye. And I'll vote aye. Motion passes. Okay. Go Bears. Any other, <laughs> any other business before the commission? None. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you for attending. Good luck to you. Thanks.